Hello, this is Carter Wyrock doing some late night training for a couple dogs that I'm house sitting here. You can see this is Paxel. He's a six year old Jack Russell Terrier. And I'm right above the camera here, I've got Jerry who is uh, staying out of the way for us right now. So he's been getting some clicks and treats too. Like right now. Good job, Jerry. So I'm going to be talking today about Paxel learning to uh, lay down, and he knows how to lay down at this point with me, but he doesn't know how to do it without a treat involved. So what I do is I like to let him know I've got these treats. Hey, look at that. He's very interested. Already laying down. So we'll get him over here, get him standing up, and from where he's at right now, I'm going to pretend like I've got a treat, and I'm going to go Paxel sit, Paxel down, and I'm giving him my signal for down. And then right as he succeeds, I give him the treat, but I bring it in from my other hand. So this hand never had a treat in it, but I tricked him into thinking it was there. And that's how we're going to get a dog that lays down without needing to see a treat right in front of him. So I'm going to see if he will do it for me without a treat that I fake pretend uh, being in my hand. Axel, come here. Come on, bud. Yeah. All right. Come here. Axel, sit. Watch how you react. Sit. Down. Oh, good. So he's doing better. He didn't stay down. Paxel, sit. Good boy. Let me give Jerry a treat, too, because he's staying out of our way. Good job, bud. Paxel, down. I'm waiting for the full down. There it is. Good boy. Good job. We're also working on sneak here. Paxel, sneak. Good job. So he followed me without the lure for a half a step there. So I bring a treat in just to let him know that trying to follow that, that hand without a treat in it will still earn him treats. Paxel, sit. Good boy. It's always helpful knowing how to go to sit from laying down. I notice a lot of dogs don't do that. Show him I don't have anything. Paxel, down. Might have to grab him with the nose or the by his nose with the treat scent on your hands. Down. Good boy. So, it smelled like treats. He didn't see treats, but it smelled enough like them. Paxel, come here. Sit. Down. And the more I do this without a treat in my hand, the more he's going to be likely to respond when I'm not showing him, or when he doesn't smell directly a treat in my hand there. Now I'm going to try it with Sneak here. So watch how good he does it when I have a treat in my fingers. So this is my cue for Sneak. I just put my fingers on top of each other. Paxel, Sneak. He smells the treat. He follows it almost as far as I want him to. And now I'm going to bring him back over here. Come on, bud. Good job. I like to reward him for following my lures sometimes. Now I'm going to do it without the treat. Down. <laughs> Paxel, down. Good boy. Still training that down. Now, no treat. Sneak. Nothing. <laughs> so we got to fade it a little more. Sneak with treat. Try again. You gotta convince him that most of the time there is a treat to follow. Down. Sneak. Ah. Uh -uh. Sneak. Good job. Pack, look at me. Jerry, go to bed. Hey, Jerry, come on, go to bed. Go to bed, Jerry. He's still trying to fade the lure out on this one. Jerry, go to bed. Axel, no treat. Down. Sometimes I let him think about it or give him that cue again. He's like, I think... Oh, yeah, there it is. Good job. Jerry. See, I haven't been giving Jerry enough reinforcement for staying up there. All right, buddy, you can sit on me and you can watch. Let's try that. <laughs> no. Go to bed. Good boy. And when I'm training a dog to do that, I don't always give them a treat for going to bed, especially if they're messing up by coming over me in the first place. I'm going to make them wait a little before Jerry over there is going to earn another treat. But Paxel, for patiently waiting for me, gets a little one. And Jerry gets some petting just for uh, staying up there for a second. Paxel, down. Good job. And you can also start making them hold it for a couple seconds of duration after you've made them lay down without a treat. 
Good. Good job. Tackle down. Good job. And then I'm going to give him a little jackpot because he did it for uh, the first time just with really good without any treats and he actually stayed down for a second. Jerry finally earns his treats. So I'm going to call that good. I think you get the impression of what it takes to fade a lure out. You just got to fake pretend like pretend like you've got that in your hand and um, every now and then you've got to have it in your hand. Start off with mainly at times where you are using a treat and then use very few where you take the treat away and slowly increase the number of times where you do it just without a treat. So good luck and feel free to ask me if you have any questions and comments and I do want people to follow me on YouTube with this uh, dog training blog so I'd love it if you could share this video and follow me. Have a good one.